Well, I thought I'd give you a tour of the inside of the cottage. All the construction we did, it was a mess. We had to clean all that up to uh, have every, all the company down for my wife's reunion. This is our 50s uh, dining room. Originally, this was the uh, only place here. The addition, the part in front of you in that kitchen was put on 85. The part I'm standing in was built in 65. This used to be a tiny little bedroom, and there wasn't a door there. And it was tiny. And we put a door in there. And right here, where the sun is, telling you how cheap things were back in the 50s, was a giant archway that led into a living room on the other side of that wall. We covered this over so that we could uh, make this into a, a dining room. And then my wife, uh, this is her dream kitchen. It took two years to do this, mainly because of money. And that is the coffee nook area. That is a side-by-side, -side, I think you call them sidekicks, uh, refrigerator freezer. The islands are, uh, I think, four by seven. That's the range. And looking back that way, that is our baking nook. The only bourgeois thing we have in this house is we bought an ice cream maker a few years ago and uh, it's really neat to have. Uh, when they first came out they were very expensive. Uh, these were in the $300 range which you got to make a lot of ice cream to justify it. But uh, it'll make ice cream in about 50 minutes. It's a self-contained freezer unit. You just put the ingredients in there and turn it on and it cuts off when it's done. And then to walk around here I should have put some uh, light on in this mud room. See if I can get a little bit of light in here. I'm going to do this on one take. I'm down there to do other things today. This is a washing area. Maintenance area really. It's a mechanical room. Hot water tank. Cabinets. Sink. Dishwasher. We didn't replace all the appliances. This dishwasher was fairly uh, new and and we don't use it very often. And this is my wife's dream stove and dream hood. That hood took three days to put in. It has an eight inch pipe that leads outside and talk about a nightmare. This is a convection oven. And this smaller oven is for doing uh, casseroles and small items. It's a neat freezer, refrigerator combination. You got to pardon it. Uh, this stuff is cluttered with stuff. There's a uh, part of the almost four gallons of ice cream I made. We took a little freezer tray out of here and cut down a storage tray and that way we got about a thousand, fifteen hundred ice cubes at all time. Uh, these small containers also have ice cream in it and that was a bunch of cake left from a reunion and we just froze it. It's a pretty neat unit. Try not to make this thing too overly long. You go over to the kitchen and you can see the river through that sliding door that we just put in. The river's over there. And we replaced that door. And that's our little television. And we have to run off of antenna down here because we're not here enough to justify a year of cable. And the, something happened to the cable that was under the house and we had to run one across the floor and I haven't had time to uh, run it up in the attic and this is our master bedroom
it used to come into this space. This space stopped about three feet in, into the bed. And this was the living room. And we moved that wall, built that wall right there and moved that wall back, took out a small closet and made that a bed nook. And that's looking from the other side. You can see by all the books and magazines we're avid readers. Oh, I don't want to spin you around and get you too dizzy. And this is a space we finished this year. It's a Florida room. Uh, we had a lot of storm damage to this wall from a hurricane and we had to replace a lot of sheetrock and uh, flooring and uh, if I reach over and flip this switch it's a nice place to be but it's uh, contained. We have casement windows now so we can open it up before they were almost sealed. And we put an air conditioning unit over there which will cool this space down from 125 degrees to uh, about 70 in about 10 or 12 minutes. You do have a nice view out there. And all these windows open up so they'll catch the breeze. And then we put a pocket door in here. And this is uh, one of the bedrooms. Pardon all the stuff, but in a, even a cottage this size, you run out of space. And this has become a storage area, but that uh, is a homemade uh, bed. My son had to put some of his boat things in here. Our boathouse across the street is full. And there's two rooms we haven't done. One is this bedroom. And it'll have to be redone completely. This is a 1965 bathroom. And it's going to need to be gutted. And start over. We're debating putting a claw, tub, claw foot tub back in there. But I don't know where the prices are. On. They are very expensive. I saw one $2,200 and made out of fiberglasses. And I don't think I could fit in it. So anyway, that's uh, the little loop around. We have a set of bunk beds in this space. Should have turned the light on so you could have seen it a little better. And then we're back into the dining, 50's diner. Thanks for watching.